an ideal candidate for a fledgling civilian space agency created in 1958. And in 1959, John Glenn was selected as one of NASA's original seven Mercury astronauts. His orbital flight in February 1962 gave new wings to America's spirit. Until then, the United States lagged behind the Soviet Union in human spaceflight. Glenn's flight put us back on track, and America never looked back. Glenn was, and still remains, a national hero. NASA celebrates the 50th anniversary of Project Mercury. Never in all of history have so many people shared an adventure of such magnitude. The time nears, and soon this Earth path indicator in the capsule will begin showing John Glenn his changing positions above the world. Status check, pressurization, locks tanking. Have a blinking high level light. You are go. Water systems, go. Range operations. Godspeed, John Glenn. Ten, nine, eight, seven. engine cut off. The moment when the final Atlas engine will shut down. When Friendship 7 should separate from the booster rocket and begin orbital flight. Zico. Lots of grades fired. Okay. Adjust that. Roger. Zero G and I feel fine. Capsule is turning around. Oh, that view is tremendous. To John Glenn, now belongs an awesome panorama. The world curving beneath him, just as it was filmed from an earlier Mercury capsule. Uh, Roger, Seven, you have a go, at least seven orbits. Roger, understand go for at least seven orbits. The Friendship Seven, I can see clear back a big cloud pattern way back across toward the Cape. Beautiful sight. Even now, Glenn is streaking toward the United States, and he must begin the retro sequence 300 miles west of California if he's to land in the planned recovery area 700 miles south and east of Florida. Our Friendship 7, this is Cape, over. Our Friendship 7, this is Cape, how do you read, over? All right, Roger, re-entry checklist complete, standing by for a minute at 10. Hello, Mercury Recovery. This is Friendship 7. Do you receive? Mercury, Friendship 7. This is Steelhead. Loud and clear. Over. Right here, Steelhead. Uh, Friendship 7, the shoot looks very good. Over. Home is the Voyager. Behind a journey of 81,000 miles through three days and three nights in just four hours and 56 minutes. At 3.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friendship 7 comes to rest aboard the United States destroyer, NOAA.
and John Glenn returns to the people of Earth. A change of clothes, a breath of cool air, a short debriefing. Then, Glenn leaves the NOAA, heading for the aircraft carrier Randolph, under the golden splendor of his fourth sunset of the day.